second type of factoring that we can have is called factoring by grouping. And grouping happens if you have four terms. So factoring out a GCF can happen no matter how many terms you have, but grouping specifically you need four. In order to factor by grouping, we're going to split it. This is why you need four terms. You need to find the GCF of the first pair, and then the GCF of the second pair. If you did everything right, your parentheses should match. If your parentheses don't match, it means you uh, factored out a GCF wrong, or it means that you just can't do grouping. All right, so then we're going to rewrite it using two parentheses. Your GCFs go in one, and your matching parentheses, and I know that this blank is not long enough, go in the other. So here we are factoring by grouping. I'm going to use colored pencils for this because I think that it really helps. So I'm going to split it right down the middle here. I'm going to find me the GCF of the first pair, and I'm going to do that in green. So the GCF of x to the third minus 2x squared. I like to have my 1 out in front because it kind of helps me. The GCF between 1 and 2 is 1. And then I take the smallest number of x's. So this guy has 3x's. This guy has 2x's. So 1x squared is going to be my GCF. So don't forget how we do GCFs. I go through and I divide by 1x squared. I divide by 1x squared. This guy, 1 divided by 1 is 1. You don't have to write that. x to the 3 divided by x squared gives me just an x. Over here, negative 2 divided by 1 gives me negative 2. x squared, take out 2x's, is nothing. And my GCF goes out front. And I'm actually going to go ahead and erase that one that's in front of the x squared. So there's my GCF of the first pair. I'm going to use purple for my second pair. The GCF here between positive 5 and negative 10 is going to be a positive 5. This guy has an x, but this guy does not have an x. So my GCF is just 5. So I'm going to divide by 5. I'm going to divide by 5. My GCF is going to be a positive 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. x, take out no x's, is just x. Negative 10 divided by 5 gives me negative 2. So right here is where we need to check, right? So we checked that we had four terms. We found the GCF of the first pair in green. We found the GCF of the second pair in purple. And then if you did everything right, your parentheses should match. So double check that this parenthesis and this parenthesis match up. X minus 2 both times means we're fine. So we're going to rewrite it using two parentheses. Our GCFs go in the first one. So our GCFs are these guys outside. So X squared plus 5. And then in the second pair are our matching parentheses, the X minus 2. And this is our final answer. So we are just adding a step on to doing GCFs. We're doing GCFs. So let's try that with the second one. I'm going to keep my color scheme going. So I'm going to split it down the middle. First pair, second pair. Out of the first pair, my GCF, uh, between 2 and 5, that's just 1. x squared and x, I can only take out 1x. So I'm going to divide by 1x, divide by 1x. 2 divided by 1 is 2 x squared divided by x still leaves me with an x. Positive 5 divided by 1 gives me positive 5. x take out an x is nothing. And then I write my GCF on the outside. And I'm going to do it without the 1, but you could certainly leave the 1 there if you wanted. Out of the second pair, or x and 10, uh, they're both divisible by 2. Uh, because 4 and 10 are both divisible by 2, it's going to be a positive 2, because out front is positive. Uh, this guy has an x, this guy does not, so no x's. So divide by 2, divide by 2. Positive 4 divided by 2 makes a positive 2. 
Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm writing things in the wrong spot. Leaves me a positive 2x, because I have an x and don't take anything out. Positive 10 divided by 2 makes positive 5. And stick my GCF out here, and it is a positive 2. Uh, and then I'm going to rewrite this. My GCFs go in the first parenthesis. And then my matching parentheses, 2x plus 5, makes up my second parenthesis. And that's it. That's my final answer. So this is really just GCFs twice. So let's practice that two more times. I'm going to keep my color schemes. Cut this guy in half right here. Uh, the GCF out of the first pair, 2 and 6 are both divisible by 2. I have three x's and two x's, so I can take out two of them. Divide by two x squared, divide by two x squared. Two divided by two is one. x to the third divided by x squared is just x. Positive six divided by two makes positive three. x squared, x squared is nothing. Stick my GCF out front. Over here, positive three x plus nine. The GCF is going to be 3. They're both divisible by 3. No x's. So divide by 3. Divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1x. Because I don't have any way to get rid of that x. Positive 9 divided by 3 makes 3. Stick my GCF out front and it was positive 3. Make sure that my parentheses match, which they do. So my GCFs. Go in one parenthesis, 2x squared plus 3. And then my matching parentheses go in the second. So let's check out this one at the end here. Split it down the middle again. Out of the first pair, 8 and 6, they're both divisible by 2. They both have an x. So divide by 2x, divide by 2x. That's going to give me 4x plus 3 with my GCF out front. In the second half, though, check this out. They're both negative. Specifically, the first one is negative. So the GCF is going to be negative 1. 4 and 3 are both divisible by 1. No x's to speak of. So divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. This is going to change some things. Remember when we talked in that last test of how to keep track of your positives and negatives? A negative 4 divided by a negative 1 makes a positive 4x. Negative 3 divided by negative 1 makes a positive 3. And I'm going to stick my GCF out front. Now, if you're paying attention, you'll notice that that negative was really important because otherwise my parentheses wouldn't match. So be careful when you're doing that. So my GCFs go in one parenthesis, and my matchings go in the second. 